professional book that he entitled Turn Your Passion Into a Business. Now, this is a practical book that focuses on showing the reader steps on how to turn what they love, uh, what they love doing best into a real business. Well, Ruzai is in studio with me this morning to help us unpack this read. A very good morning to you, Ruzai, and welcome. Thank you very much, and it's a pleasure. Thank you very much, El. Thank you. Well, it's an absolute pleasure having you on the show this morning. Talk to us about this book. What does it all say? What, uh, what is it about? And what is it that you want us to learn from it? The book is actually to show people how they can turn what they love doing into a real business. I actually wrote this book after listening to a lot of people telling me that they do not have business ideas. I then started doing a research to find out on how did most successful business people made it so big in life, only to find that to most of them it started as a passion and they've turned their passion into a business. So I wrote this book to tell somebody out there that you can turn your passion into a business, which means you have a business in you. Turning a passion into business, uh, for starters, how does one do that? The first chapter on the book actually shows how you can discover your passion. After discovering your passion, you actually have to take the first step to take action and turn that into a business. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I see you also talk about investing in yourself by having a mentor or you having uh, someone to network with. Just how important is that? It's very much important to have a mentor. I also have got a mentor who's mentoring me in everything that I do. And also just to talk about investing in yourself, that is very, very, very important. People have to start investing in themselves. Investing in myself really changed my life. I started investing in myself back in 2015, attending business conferences, reading financial education books, and that's why I ended up coming up with this powerful book. So investing in yourself is very, very, very powerful, and we really need that in South Africa in order for us to change this country. You know, Riza, there's so many uh, South African entrepreneurs out there who haven't been unleashed yet because of a, a multiplicity of factors. First of all, they do have the business ideas, they do have the passion for it, but it's the platform, it is the opportunities which haven't been availed to them. How do we navigate around that situation? The thing is, people have to start learning to start small. The biggest problem with a lot of people and why a lot of people are not making it is because they want to see themselves right there on top, but they don't want to climb. It doesn't make sense. When I host business conferences, I always ask people this question. I don't really love asking it in public, but I ask it just for people to understand what I'm trying to say. I always ask people, how many people want to go to heaven? And a lot of people raise their hands. We really want to go to heaven. And then second question, how many people actually want to die? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? That? I'm trying to say that for you to achieve something, you have to take a massive action. Something has to happen for you yeah. to achieve something. Yeah. And you say that believing in, in yourself and uh, in your abilities is the start of uh, a brilliant entrepreneurial journey. 100%. Yeah. Take us through that. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give maybe my parents credits because they believed in me before I actually believed in myself. When I grew up, my mom used to tell me that, Ruta, you know what, you can be a doctor. I'm like, why? Because you are smart enough. On the other hand, my dad is somebody who loves reading newspapers a lot. So every time when he's reading a newspaper and when we're back at home in Limpopo and he finds a story that's inspiring, he calls one of us to go and fetch the newspaper from him, read the story one by one, then return the newspaper to him. So in 2008, he gave us a story to read, the story that completely changed my life. The story was about a man who was a street kid, and it was taken by an ordinary family that took him to school. Mm -hmm. He passed grade 12 with flying colors and got a buzzer to study. By the time he made the headlines on the newspaper, they said he's managing one of the big companies, driving a Rolls Royce that costed him $5.2 million. Mm. What inspired me the most in that story was not the fact that the guy was driving a Rolls Royce, but it was the fact that he moved from being a beggar in the street to end up becoming a top manager. Mm -hmm. So when I returned the newspaper to my dad, he sat down with me and he started asking me the following questions. Rosie, does this guy have four eyes? I said, no, dad. How many does he have? Two. How many do you have? Two. What about his hands? Are they five? I said, no. How many does he have? Two. How many do you have? He said, it means you also can do it. In fact, you can do far much better than this because you're not starting from being a street kid. Mm. So with that, I started believing in myself and I've seen my life transforming like nobody's business. Basically, <laughs> it all starts in the mind, first of all. 100%. Business, before you get to the nitty-gritty of business, you have to have a, a mindset for it. That's why investing in yourself is very important. True. Because first of all, I had to shift my mindset. And I'll also have to maybe mention this, that we actually have got three different kinds of education. 
The first one is called academic education, which is the education that we learn from grade R or grade 1 until grade 12. The second one is professional education that we learn at university or college levels. So a lot of people are ending there. That is where we've got a serious problem in our, co in our country. Unemployment rate is going high. But then there's a third kind of education, which is financial education. It's the education that teaches you how to create businesses and how to make money to work hard for you. And that is the education that is lacking in South Africa. Yeah. So financial education, investing in financial education really, really, really changed my, my life. So how would you advise those entrepreneurs out there in, uh, who are battling with finance? First of all, I would like to say um, in that topic, people have to start small. That's what, yeah. that's what I've always been mentioning. Okay. In chapter 4, I mentioned a story when I started selling a time back in 2008. I, was, I think I was 15 years old at that, at that time. I was still in high school. Really? <laughs> yeah. I actually saved money for a week because my parents used to give me 10 rands. Okay. So I saved for a week and then at the end I had 50 rands. I started selling a time from 50 rands. And then by 2009, I had a lot of money, which I can't mm -hmm. really mention here. And I ended up opening a company, RBI Finance, at that time. Okay. Yeah, so people have to learn how to start small. I guess you are one entrepreneur that we should be on the lookout for, hey? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what kind of feedback have you been getting? Oh, it's amazing. Okay. I always knew that this book will change lives, but it's on another level. How do you get hold of this copy? For now, you can get them from me. Okay. I'm still selling them by myself, and I will try and take them to the bookshelves maybe after July. I'm still enjoying selling them myself. Yeah, so those who want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? I don't know if I'm allowed to give cell number. Well, if you're comfortable, but uh, <laughs> any other details, your email or maybe uh, your social media handles? Okay, emails rudzai at gmail.com. Okay. And then they can get me on Facebook, rudzai rdi holdings. They can okay. get me on Twitter, rudzai rdi magwabeni. My cell number, 071-317-317. One zero zero eight. All right. She's a man. I'm so inspired by your story. <laughs> hey? All the best. In, in your Thank journey. you, Zimpio. All right. Thanks for coming through. There was it. Uh, that was our author and financial expert, Ruzai Magobeni, speaking to us about his book, inspirational uh, title, Turn Your Passion into a Business. Well, you can also join us for a Sunday book feature to talk about some of the books that you're currently reading or have read, whether you are a lone reader or belong to a certain book club. Just send us some of your favorite pics. All you have to do is to email Facebook or tweet us a picture of the book with a relevant caption by using Using our social media platforms, you can use our Twitter handle at MorningLoveSAPC or hashtag MorningLoveSAPC. You can also tag or send us a Facebook message on our page. That is MorningLoveSAPC or simply send us an email on MorningLove at sapc.co.za. All right, let's now hand back to the main